Yo, what do do, people? It's your boy, D-Bonds317, coming at you with another hit, another banger, whatever you want to call it. So, I know you already know what I'm going to talk about. If you don't know what I'm going to talk about, George Floyd, who was killed in Minnesota by a, a cop. Uh, the cop was on his knee for about 14 minutes, suffocating him. Uh he cried out for his mom several times, and his mom passed away. <clears throat> That's what the information I got. I understand the riots. I understand the protests. I am a black male in America. This was deeper than a $20 bill, fake $20 bill. A lot of people do not understand the anger and hurt it mistreated of black people when it comes to the justice system, when it comes to the cops. People, you can mind your own business when it comes to the cop. Cops will mess with you. I have several encounters with cops that did not go as well as it should be. You can apply to their demands and they still will hold guns to your face. Uh, I remember the first time I ever had a cop pull a gun in my face i was in middle school and thought i was gonna get shot i didn't let the cops in because first of all i didn't know he was a real cop i don't care if a person wear a uniform or not i don't know who you are it's too much stuff going on we live in a time where you got a president a so-called president in the white house that condone this type of mistreatment of people that a get on uh, his people that worship him that support him enough that they don't see the human side of people Uh, there's a lot that goes on in the community itself that people are outraged that this stuff even happened you have a leader in New York. Uh, you have the mayors of the cities that is being under it, being right in. People are dying. People, the woman in Louisville, the EMT, uh, died, uh, died, and she was an EMT. So it don't matter if you have a badge or not a badge. A black cop can be unarmed. A black cop can be in his off duty and still get harassed by the cops, get shot at by the cops. This stuff happens. I, I'm not making this up. I can't make it up if I try to. Stuff like this happen all the time. What happened? The justice system. Oh yeah, charge him with manslaughter. Charge him with a uh, third degree. Can third degree in Minnesota face up to 25 years. Manslaughter, you, he's a cop, so he gonna get. If he is found guilty, it's a big F, because we live in a time where cops are let go because of the standard that we hold them up, and it's a shame that. Uh. I'm getting sick and tired of talking about this every month, every year. I'm tired of debating with people about. I'm not begging people to see it from my point of view no more. I'm not like, hey, come see it from my point of view that cops is really mistreating people. They do white people the same way. The media do not report that type of stuff because don't make headlines, don't bring numbers, it's not no racial attention with it that's why the media don't report it there was a dude a 16 year old white male got killed by the cops he was armed armed he just moved his car the cop busted at him 80 year old 85 year old woman uh white woman get killed in the church parking lot by a white cop the news don't report it white people always say you hear them in the comments oh we didn't protest. We didn't riot. But they riot when a team wins the Super Bowl. 
They riot when a team win a championship game. They riot when a team loses. They riot when stuff happens. They burn police cars. Just a couple weeks ago, they protest because they couldn't get a fucking haircut. We protest because we don't have a voice. We don't have the privilege when it comes to the cops stopping us at the at our car. We gotta worry about if we reach for a wallet, we get shot. If we reach for our license and registration, we're gonna get shot. It don't matter what our background is, we see it as a threat first. Cops are trained not to trust us. But we are supposed to trust them with our lives. This man was begging. George was begging for help. Four officers, four or five officers stood there. Couple was on his back and neck. Somebody standing on your neck for 14 minutes. You're not going to feel comfortable. I cracked my neck falling down the stairs. I have pain in my neck. So, I, he probably, his neck was cracking. His neck was giving out. This is a big guy, but his neck was giving out. He couldn't breathe like Eric Gordon couldn't breathe. They was messing with him. When people mind their own business, cops still mess with you. It don't matter who you are. If I was a police officer, as a human being, as a human being, I would have told, hey, man, get up off his neck. He's resisting. We got him handcuffs. He's cool, man. Get up off his neck or you could get pushed off. It's going to get to a point where we see people, uh, when we see cops beating up somebody, they're going to start attacking cops. It happened in other countries. The riots is a voice of anger. Like, this is what needs to change. Okay, you're not listening to me. We was kneeling peaceful in the NFL. Y'all didn't like that. Y'all said it was disrespectful. Martin Luther King March. He got arrested 29 times. Y'all didn't like that. Racist white people. I'm talking to the, all the racist white people that listen to this channel. If y'all even listen to this damn channel. Y'all don't understand shit that goes on in the black community. We will respect more cops if the justice system do like they do us. It's not no ends or maybe it's no buts about it. This is a re this is not a fucking request. This is a demand. We were request a long time ago. We tired of seeing people dying in police custody, white, black, or brown, dying in police custody. We are sick and tired of this. People don't like when we say Black Lives Matter or none of that stuff that goes on in the community. There, people are looing because a $1,200 check went out. People lost a job. It's 43 million people without a job. And of course, people are going to lose for food. And of course, people are going to take their anger out. People are mad. People are frustrated. The system is failing us back to back to back. This this is not... This should even get to this far. We have to take accountability of our actions. As a human race, if y'all want peace, run these police suggestions that kill people on camera. You don't have to wait 24 hours, 72, 72 hours to charge somebody with a crime that it was on caught on camera. How much evidence do you need? You are racist. You don't have to say Negro or nothing. He did that to that person. He killed that person. It don't make no fucking sense. That we got to fear for our life when we get stopped by the cops. People like, oh, shouldn't be doing nothing. 
you don't have to do shit for the cops to fuck with you. I don't. I don't know how many times you gotta do. We gotta say that you don't have to do shit. You can just fit a, a description of a black male, a dark skinned complexion male, a dark light skinned male. That's half of America right there. That's the majority of every black person in the United States right there. So don't tell me what we should do and what we should do. It should not even be that way because y'all, white people don't have to deal with this shit on a daily basis. Let's say you're very poor. A black person could go on Carmel, one of the richest areas in Indiana, and get stopped by the cops because they look suspicious. I got stopped by the cops and I was in my uniform looking suspicious. Looking like I'm going to break in the house. Man, I'm out here doing fucking cable. I don't really want to be out here with my damn self, but I'm out here doing cable. For a person that don't understand that I could be killed. We got Beckys and Karens and Johns and Joes calling police on black people that minding their business. That could lead to somebody's death sentence right there. Black people don't call the cops. Even though we supposed to. We don't call the cops. Somebody's screaming. We get an argument. Cause we don't we know what that shit gonna lead to. That could lead to somebody dying. We tired people are tired of protesting. That's why they burn the cities down. It's not only black people are tired. It's white people are tired. It's Mexicans are tired. Mexicans should be rioting it when they put them people in a the cage. There's are still people in cages. Let me tell y'all something. It's people are in cages right now in the detention centers that are kids being raped. Black males get locked up for drugs. A white man kill a person, yell a gay slur, and walk away from six months, ten years of probation for killing somebody. This is a real life story. I'm not making this shit up. I don't. I'm not making this stuff up. Look at the justice system alone. Why do mass killers get a court date? And the people who get killed by the cops can't even make it to the court day because they dead. Why do people in handcuffs don't even make it to the court day? Sarah Bland. The names could go on. Mike Brown, Trayvon Martin, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. Names could go on that was killed by our society today. Names could go on. We, people have been marching. Cops enjoy some cops enjoy this and some cops don't like this because they did not take an oath to hurt their own people trump is sitting in the military he are calling black people thugs when people who 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 got saw rifle at the state building call them fine people we already know trump is a rapist we already know trump is a racist I'm not surprised what he say. The six family, the sixteen family pick him to be in the office. The crazy part is we got another four years of this bullshit that about to go on with the United States. The city is falling apart. This country is falling apart. This is this is ridiculous beyond. This is beyond ridiculous, man. This is sad. This is, this is, you can't even be proud to call yourself American because nobody don't love you in this country. We got racist white people who still believe in the KKK walking around fine and daily. Cops don't come up with riot gear. Why the fuck do the United States need riot gear? Why the fuck do... The police need, why do the fuck the police need, uh, why do the police need 
military shit for United States citizens of this country. Why? Why? Why are we teaching police tactics that could kill a human being that after you had them in handcuffs? He won't even resist an arrest at all. The videos I seen, I couldn't see in the car, the van, the truck, whatever, the police truck. I couldn't see in there. I didn't even watch the video because I'm tired of seeing police killing somebody on camera. A police shoot somebody in the back as he run away. A man have a license to carry a gun and hurry up and shoot him because you ask him to grab his wallet. A black man grab his wallet, he get killed. But you getting a person a ticket or a person jogging get killed. There's no ends or maybes or buts. Oh, he maybe was doing this. He that after somebody died, we should not even bring up their fucking history. The suspect history should only be brought up in a court of law. And that don't even come up all the time because they can't even use that all the time in the court of law. Why do the victim always got to be the suspect? The suspect turns to the victim. We live in a country where people blame the victim more than anything than the, the person that caused the issue. If I being if I being charged with murder, if I kill somebody, if I kill somebody, if I kill somebody, I'm going to be charged with murder. I'm going to be locked up the same fucking day. Probably not in the first 48 hours. We see in the first 48 hours how it works. Somebody get killed. Most killers get away, right? I'm not knocking the good cops. There is not. I'm not using this bad cop, good cop shit no more. There are good cops, good truck drivers, and bad truck drivers. But everybody see a truck driver as a bully. I've been driving trucks for three years. And I get finger, I get fuck you, or all this shit. Because I'm moving slow. Or I didn't move over. Or, but they don't say that shit to my face. We live in a time where if you look the wrong way, you got white people, racist white people taking law of their own hand because they couldn't make it to be a cop. This shit is real. This is not, this ain't fake. We see this over every year. This is an every year thing. This is a monthly thing. Imagine all the cops that are not being filmed that are killing people. Imagine all the people that are getting killed by cops that are not being filmed. White cops, black cops, killing people. White people don't riot because they don't got to deal with this stuff on a county, a, a, a daily basis, I should say. We got to deal with this. All duty, black cops got to deal with this shit. They know this stuff. But when you deal with stuff, it's anger people so much that it is ridiculous. You know what I mean? So, of course, people are fed up with cops, man. People are fed up with cops. People are tired of dealing with the same bullshit daily or daily. You put people unemployed, poverty on top of that, you spill in disaster. You charging a cop with no crime that you would charge other people, you spill in disaster. It is not a in or maybe. This stuff got to stop. This stuff should have been stopping a long time ago. Nothing haven't changed. 2020, if you put the people that are facing the cop, put it gray and black, white and black, gray and black, whatever, 
It looked like the 1960s or the 1950s or the 1920s. There are black people still getting lynched. It don't matter where or how shit is. Shit, people are so fucking fed up. You got people that who go, who who support police officers are fed up with bad police officers. That are fed up with uh, all the other officers that as human beings will agree that was all. Take your badge off for a moment. Take your train off for a moment. Yeah. Take your KKKIs out for a moment. Look at a human being. I will be fed up. If it was a white man get killed by another white cop, he's not doing nothing. That should anger, that should anger the average person blood. That should make your blood boil. That should make you anger. End of the day, I'm not looking at that fucking uniform. I'm looking at a fucking killer. That is a killer. People are so mad at the situation that is going on. And he's, you can take Mike Brown. He was falsely accused of robbing. He didn't have a weapon. Dude got shot in the head. Trey. You could say Rice, who was killed on Ohio because he had a toy BB gun. A rookie cop killed him. They blame it on the inexperience because the cop was a rookie. I don't give a fuck if he had 20 years. You didn't get that, that boy a chance to say, put down your gun. You just killed him. You killed a little boy. My son said, why they kill that boy? Cops not supposed to do that. How can you explain to your kids what cops not supposed to do something? Cops not supposed to do it like that. Cops not supposed to kill him. A tear tear up in my eye. I, I tear up when my son said that. I have a son. Not only a son, I have a black son who is dark complexion. Dark people is more likely to get targeted than light skinned people by cops. It's in our society. You can walk next to a car or somebody lock their door. Bitch, I don't want your car. I don't I make more money than you. I don't want your fucking purse. Why are you spinching up your purse? I should just push you for just for you doing that shit. I will give you a fucking reason. White people do the inner stuff, but they swim with dolphins and sharks and bears. Oh my. Y'all motherfuckers hurting giraffe and shit. Go to Africa. This this country is fucking sad. This country is so fucking sad, bro. It don't make no fucking sense, dog. It 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 it, it is so pitiful when we look at this shit that goes on in the United States. You came in. You can't even walk around with your hoodie up. You're a fucking threat. You can't walk around just to walk. You can't even jog without somebody feeling fucking so-called threat. I don't... If somebody is breaking the law, they should be punished at all costs. I don't care if you're white or black. We live in a, a time where... Black people are getting lynched by the dozen. Native Americans are getting killed, still killed for fucking nothing. And their country was taken. Africans, African Americans are getting killed over nothing. Trayvon Martin went, got killed by a person who wanted to be a cop. By George Zimmerman. He's a bitch. Get killed by just walking around the store. Get killed because somebody, we look suspicious to somebody. 
you can be a Muslim thing you gonna blow they think you're gonna blow up some shit. We live in that type of time. But a white man can walk around finding daily and shoot up a fucking church and get a fucking hamburger after he killed people at a church. The dude who bombed up the Oklahoma building in Oklahoma was put to death row, but he was taken alive. Serial mass killers can be put in handcuffs. Not even shot at. <sighs> I'm just tired of this shit, man. I'm fed up. The crazy thing about it, I always want to be a cop because I like if I if I patrol the area I grew up in that I live in, I I understand what the people are dealing with. That's what problem now. Cops patrol these areas that they don't know a lick about. They don't know shit about. We need more Huey P. Newtons. We need more Michael Metz. You still need Marlon King. This is by 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 what Michael Metz says this in a speech. He said, you got to talk the language they know. They come up to your house with shotguns. You come back at your house with shotguns. You talk their language. By any means necessary. Cops get away with too much stuff for stuff like this to happen. And the prosecutors, the justice system... Oh, they they very fine with it. It's, 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 they very fine with it. It, it's, it don't make no sense. It, this shouldn't be a one-time thing. Don't char- you charge him because the video surfaced. If you didn't charge him, you weren't going to charge him at all. Let's, let's be real. You weren't going to charge him. You charge him because the video was surfaced. You charge him because people see the video. The world seen the video. You charge him because of that. You didn't charge him because you thought it was right. What was wrong. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't do that. You, 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 you didn't do that, buddy. You, don't, you can't fool. You can't fool us. That's all the time I have. My people, my peeps, whatever. I want y'all to enjoy y'all time off. Um, Keep on doing you and relax, man. All power to the people. If y'all go out there, be careful, be safe. Uh, tell your family you love them because uh, you never know what happened. You could be the next George Floyd, the next Trayvon Martin, the next Mike Brown. You could be next. You know what I mean? If you're black in America, it's stressful as hell as it is. Um, all power to the people. I'm out. It's your boy D Buzz.